when I first saw that there is a new terminal out, I was really skeptical and I thought, what kind of features can they provide to make it actually useful? And after downloading and testing it, I found a couple of things that really made my life easier and what is more important, less annoying. So in this video, we are going to cover all those things. And if you find this information useful, like the video. First thing we are going to cover are the color themes. This is maybe not that useful, but it's really good to have something beautiful that you're looking at every day. And they have some really awesome looking themes. So we are going to use this command ghosty plus list themes, and we are going to use it inside of our ghosty terminal. So when I enter that command, we are getting a preview of every theme they have inside the ghostly application. There are so many cool looking themes. We have a bunch of light themes, dark themes, colorful themes, also themes like Batman here, for example. And the one I picked is called Retro Legends and you can just put it here inside of your settings, inside of your settings config file. And why I picked it? Because here, when I go to my projects, for example, or dev, and put git status, you see it's looking a little bit like fallout. So I really like how this retro theme looks. And the second thing I can show you directly from here. So when I open a new tab, I'm going command T, I'm going directly inside the same directory where I was here. And that could be annoying on the previous terminal. Whenever I opened the new tab, I was in the root directory. So I had to go CD projects, users, org dev projects etc but here we know exactly where we are here so we are just opening a new tab inside the same directory so we can compare it with my old terminal here i have iterm from mac and it's using all my zush and here if i go to users projects org dev projects here and if i open a new tab i'm going again inside the root directory and that can be annoying. Next cool thing that we have are key bindings. So here in the docs, we can go here to the key bindings and it's really easy. We just put them inside of our settings and we can put to our key binding whatever we want. So what I tested is just what I showed previously. So if I, for example, create completely new tab, and here, when I do command L, I am creating automatically CD users org dev projects. So I can do that much quicker because I'm like 90% of my time when I open a terminal, I'm going to this directory. So this one is really awesome. I'm not sure, probably that was possible also with iTerm, but I'm using that one for 10 years already, so I was not really reading a lot into documentation. You don't know when you're using something for too long, you don't really care. But here, when I opened the ghosty, when I saw the documentation and everything, it somehow forced, it, forced me to use it and to test it out. So there is not only the text, we can here put ignore, unbind, CSI, escape, etc. You can test it all for yourself. I just tested this text and it works nicely. So here inside my ghosty, I just opened the settings and here I placed that key bind. So it's just CMD plus L, or if you're on Linux, you can use control and it's doing the simple text command. And I'm just writing the CD users or their projects and that's all. So each time I put command L, I'm putting that text command inside of my terminal. And final thing that is the best feature inside the ghosty terminal and that we don't have here in iTerm is this. So when I write here, for example, some long command like git remote set URL origin, and then here we have some GitHub some repository and when we saw that we made a mistake for example instead of origin i wrote origin or something like that then we would need to go like this with our arrow keys and come here and just replace that line but now i can use everything the same like in vs code so i'm holding my command key and i'm going automatically from the beginning to the end 
with my cursor if you can see it and if I'm holding my option key now this is probably control and alt if you're on Linux so now I'm going left you see I'm going right to the end of the string and I can just go like that and update for example my origin here and here I can update it and everything is fine so this is something that I really like about Ghosty. It's completely the same I can show you in cursor here. So here if we have some kind of code, so if we want to change item center and we don't want to click, we are our hands are on our keyboard, I'm using the option key and I'm going directly to item center or justify center and if I need to change something, I'm just going to go like this with my keyboard so I don't get off my right hand onto my mouse to click and actually then start typing. This one is much quicker. Also, if we want to go to the end, to the class name there, we're using command to go like this from end to end. And this is the way I prefer to work. And that's why I think this is really a nice feature that they added here inside the terminal that we can just walk with our cursor because we cannot use mouse here we are only stuck to our keyboard and we can just change whatever we want much easier and this is the most useful feature inside ghosty that i'm actually going to use and this was probably the main reason why i installed ghosty to use it after 10 years of using iTerm. I would really like to hear your opinion. Why would you install Ghosty? And maybe you're already using it. Tell me in the comments below which of these features you find useful.